Grape is one of the most popular fruit crops that grow in clusters of tens to hundreds. There are around 60 different species of grapevines in existence. Grapefruit is also called berry, and the berry color can be purple, green, red, black, or even pink, depending on the variety. The Middle East is generally described as the homeland of grapes, and the cultivation of the plant of grapevine began there 6,000 to 8,000 years ago. Most domesticated grapes come from cultivars of Vitis vinifera, a grapevine native to the Mediterranean and Central Asia. It is possible to grow grapes from seeds, but it is not the recommended method since it takes several years to produce fruit. The most common or traditional way to grow grapes is bare root planting using grapevine cuttings or slips. The cuttings are typically about 8 to 10 inches long, and have at least two nodes for leaves or buds emergence. The grapevine cuttings are planted in well-drained and watered soil in the dormant season in late winter or early spring when they have no leaves or active growth. It takes about three years for the first grape harvesting from initial brand new grapevine planting. Generally, grapevine is a perennial plant, and can live for 50 to 100 years or more if it is properly maintained. In commercial vineyards, grapevines are often replaced every 20 to 30 years to ensure maximum productivity and quality. The annual life cycle of grapevines can be divided into the following growth stages, bud burst, shoot and leaf growth, flowering, fruit or berry set, veraison, harvesting, dormancy, pruning. The amount of time spent at each stage of the life cycle depends on a number of factors most notably the type of climate, warm or cool, and the characteristics of the grape variety. Each stage is crucial for grape growth and production. Understanding the different stages of the annual grapevine life cycle is essential for achieving optimal yield and quality, as well as for proper crop management. The grapevine starts its annual life cycle in the early spring with bud burst or bud break. If the vine had been pruned during the winter, the sap known as bleeding is exuded from pruning cuts on the canes due to osmotic forces, which announces the imminent onset of bud burst. The stored carbohydrate in permanent vine structures roots, trunks and cardons from previous growth cycle is used to support the initial growth. Tiny buds that rest between the vine stem and the leaf stem petiole start to swell, green leaves start to appear, and eventually shoots begin to grow from the buds. These tiny buds actually appear in the summer of previous growth cycle. After bud burst, the grapevines are very vulnerable to frost damage. The shoot and leaf growth is slow at first after bud burst. As the temperature rises, shoot growth and elongation accelerate. Photosynthesis occurs as soon as there is a green tissue on the shoots, which produce the energy to accelerate shoot growth. After three or four weeks, the period of most rapid growth begins where shoots can grow an average of one inch or more per day. However, due to the high metabolic activity, there is no net production of assimilates until several leaves have fully expanded. The process of grape flowering begins with small cluster flowers or inflorescences appearing on the tips of young shoot 40 to 80 days after bud burst. Each individual flower has the potential to form a single grape berry. The flowers of most grapevine varieties are perfect flowers and hermaphroditic with male reproductive part stamens and female reproductive part carpels. Thus, most grapevines self-pollinate. The pollen from stamen fertilizes the carpels which produce seeds, and the flower begins the transformation into a grape berry to encapsulate the seeds. Wind and insects generally play only a small role in aiding pollination. Around 30 to 60 percent flowers on the vine can get fertilized, with the unfertilized flowers eventually falling off the vine. Frost and wind are concerns at this stage of development. The fruit set or berry set follows flowering stage almost immediately, when the fertilized flower begins to develop seeds and grape berry to protect the seeds. 
The fruit or berry set is very critical for grape production since it determines the potential crop yield. For seedless grape varieties, the seed stops developing soon after fertilization, resulting in seedless berries. In this stage, grape berries undergo rapid cell division and grow larger. The berries are green and hard to the touch and enlarge rapidly, and they have very little sugar and are high in organic acids. The canopy and excess berry clusters should be pruned to ensure that the grapes will continue to mature at the correct levels with high yield. Following fruit set, the grape berry growth pauses at about half their final size, and the seeds develop at the lag phase. The grapes enter the veraison stage when the berries build up sugars and begin to soften. This stage signals the beginning of the ripening process and normally takes place around 40 to 50 days after fruit set. Within six days of the start of veraison, the berries begin to grow dramatically as they accumulate glucose and fructose, and the acids begin to fall. Color also begins to show during veraison. Red varieties deepen and begin to turn red, black, gray, or blue, while green grapes soften and start to show more golden colors. As berries continue to darken, skins become thinner and phenolic flavor compounds begin to develop. Berries also double in size. After veraison, the seeds are fully formed, and the color of the berries is fully developed. The changes in sweetness, acidity and other constituents begin to decelerate when berries are ripe. However, the onset of veraison does not occur uniformly among all berries. Typically the berries and clusters that are most exposed to warmth and on the outer extents of the canopy undergo veraison first, and the berries and clusters closer to the trunk and under the canopy shade undergo veraison last. Once the grapes are fully ripened, it's time for harvesting, which is done either by hand or machine, depending on the vineyard. The harvesting traditionally happens 100 days after flowering in later summer and early fall. Unlike many other fresh fruits, grapes are harvested fully ripe. After they're picked, they do not become sweeter, so timing is everything. The time of harvesting depends on a variety of factors most notably the subjective determination of ripeness. As the grape ripens on the vines, the cane of the vine also starts to ripen as well changing from green and springing to brown and hard. After the grapes are harvested, the vine continues the process of photosynthesis, creating carbohydrate reserves to store in the vine's roots trunks and cordons until an appropriate level of reserves has been stored, for next season's bleeding and bud burst. The chlorophyll in the leaves also begin to break down and the leaves change color from green to yellow in the autumn. Following the first frost, the leaves begin to fall as the vine starts to enter its winter dormancy period. The growth and development of grapevines stop temporarily in dormancy period till the beginning of next annual life growth cycle, and the grapevines look merely like woody twigs. Grapevine pruning is typically done in late winter after the leaves have fallen off the vine and before the buds start to swell. The canes are cut back, and the best canes are selected to grow new shoots for next growth cycle. Canes are the new wood that start off as green shoots which produce both the fruit for this year's harvesting and the buds for next year's fruit. The life cycle starts again with bleeding and bud burst in following spring. About 80 million tons of grapes are produced worldwide annually. China is the largest grape producer in the world. The United States is the second largest producer. Italy, France, Spain and Turkey are also major grape producers. Grape is also an important fruit crop in many other countries. Grapes are widely consumed as a fresh fruit around the world. Grapes hold cultural significance in many parts of the world, particularly for their role in winemaking. Grapes are also commonly used to make raisins as popular snack. Grapes are also used in the production of grape juice and grape jam. Raw grape contains more than 80% water. Grape is a good source of dietary fiber, vitamin C, and potassium. 
grape is also rich in antioxidants resveratrol and flavonoids, and low in calories and fat. In summary, grape is a nutrient-dense fruit that can provide a range of health benefits as part of a balanced diet.